Uh, gentlemen, good afternoon. This route we are is the bandit route. From Oshafa, from here now, we move straight, we walk along the road, we have covered the road. From here now, they go to Pape. From Pape, they will enter into an area like Maitama or Asokuru. So eventually when they pick somebody, this is the route we are in now. If they pick somebody from Maitama or Asokuru, or that area, Pape, they will go towards the back of Pape. If we follow this road now, we will follow straight. We will go along with you. We will enter Pape. You will be surprised how we will descend into Maitama. This is their route. What we have done here is to do a lot of deployments on the route because we have a lot of intelligence at our disposal. This is one of their biggest routes that we are inside their route now. How do they pass through here? Is it through vehicle, bicycle or motorcycle? have a lot of motorcycle. As we go now, you will see. If they pick somebody, you will see where they used to keep their motorcycle. Once they use leg and drag the person into where they park their motorcycle, they use this route. So this route is through their motorcycle. Some farmers equally use this route to go to their farm. They now utilize it with their motorcycles to go through. This is where we are now. So there's DSS facility around here. So how come these people are using this place? No, please. Uh, what I know is that this is a kidnapper's route, a bandit route. So as we go along, we will check where they are. So, so when the operations will, will last for how long? Sir? It has no end. We have to secure uh, Abuja very well and its boundary areas. We went to Niger, we went to Kaduna area. We are heading towards Nasrawa before I was called. We are doing complete combing and complete picking and complete surveillance. The IGP has made necessary development to deployment to assist FCT command. It was it got a time that people felt that the, the headquarters even was the one in charge of FCT. They've forgotten FCT as a command. But we noticed that there is, there, is, there is that need for the first headquarters to give support to the FCT command. And that's why the IGP launched the special Sorry. intervention squad. That will be the second state or command that will enjoy that. The first was done on 29th of December 2023 uh, on the Plateau, in Plateau State, to support the people in that state. They have mapped out these routes, linking up to Kaduna, part of Niger, Nasarawa, and Kugi commands. So we have shown you this, and the CP Bennett Igwemenai, the one in charge of this special operation in Federal Capital Territory, is the one that just addressed you. But the message the IGP is passing out now is that you are going to see our men hands to the seats. They are to protect you. Respect them. Do not attack them. Share information with them. If you don't share information with them, the job might not be so smooth for them. So we want to assure you and reassure the residents of the Federal Capital Territory that it is now the peace has come. And we are assuring other neighboring states that the IGP is going to replicate what he has done in FCT and in Plateau State. His intention of the intention of the IGP is to have SIS in all the 36 states. So we have two done already. We are talking of 35 commands more. Uh, we is going to get across to Niger, Nasarawa, Kaduna, Benue, Kogi, and other places like that. If you are flushing them out of FCT, we don't want them to assemble in any of the neighboring states. And that's why the battle will be taken to all those places. And we want to assure Nigerians very, very soon we get rid of all these hand bandits that are causing pains, sorrows, agonies to innocent Nigerians. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 Yeah.